Good morning, Coach Zach here once again, uh, continuing our readings on the ascetical homilies of St. Isaac the Syrian. Uh, we're finishing up homily 3 on this, the uh, 26th day of our readings, page 140. Let us, therefore, acquire zeal in our souls against the devil and his ministers, even such as the Maccabees had, and the holy prophets, apostles, martyrs, the righteous and the just. For these men proved allies of the divine laws and the commandments of the Spirit in fearful places and amid most grievous tribulations. Mightily did they put the world and the flesh behind their backs and persevere in their righteousness, and they were not overcome by the perils that encircled both their soul and body. But courageously they took the victory, and their names are written in the book of life until the coming of Christ. By God's decree their teaching has been preserved for our instruction and strengthening, as the blessed apostle testifies, that we might become wise and learn the ways of God, and keep their histories and lives in view as living and breathing icons, and take our example from them, and run their course, and make ourselves like unto them. The words of God are as sweet to the soul, possessed of great understanding, as food that delights the body. And the histories of the righteous are as desirable to the ears of the meek as continual watering to a newly planted tree. Therefore, beloved, have in your mind God's providence, which from the beginning until now is dispensed with foreknowledge, as some excellent medicine for weakened eyes, and keep its recollection with you at all times. Ponder, consider, and be taught by these things, that you may learn to hold the remembrance of the greatness of God's honor in your soul, and thus find life eternal for your soul in Jesus Christ our Lord, who has become the mediator between God and men as being the uniter in his two natures. The orders of the angels cannot approach the glory that surrounds the throne on his majesty, yet he has appeared in the world for our sake in a mean and humble form, as Isaiah has said. We beheld him that he had no form nor beauty. It is he that, being invisible to all created nature, put on a body and fulfilled the economy for the salvation and life of all the nations which were cleansed by him to whom be glory and dominion unto the ages of ages. Amen. So I think there's an uh, a, uh, obvious, uh, we got some of the geese going through, that's pretty cool, um, <clears throat> obvious theme here to this uh, conclusion of Homily 3 uh, on the remembrance of the saints and reading into the lives of the saints. And, you know, with my current uh, father confessor, my spiritual father, um, he was very adamant from the very first day I confessed them uh, and prescribed to me the reading of the lives of the saints. And so I purchased uh, the Synaxadian, the lives of the saints of the Orthodox Church. Uh, this is volume six as it goes in uh, two month uh, increments. So this is July and August. And I must say, uh, you know, uh, sometimes when I get away from my readings, either in a busyness or a change of a schedule, sometimes during the season, you know, I'm getting up, meeting the students, uh, 6 a.m. Uh, for our workouts, and then going to work, and then meeting the uh, kids after school for the workout, and then sometimes going to my club. And so my days can be long. You know, a lot of times uh, during the season, I'm leaving before light and getting home after dark. And so, you know, in these moments, in my weakness, uh, sometimes I, I, I get off track a little bit here and there. But anyhow, um, recently I've been uh, very much on track, not only... Uh, reading um, the Epistle and Gospel as soon as I wake up. Uh, then the next thing after uh, I get through that, I start reading the Lives of the Saints, like I'm mentioning. And then, of course, the uh, page of St. Isaac the Syrian to kind of start my day, right? And get into, uh, you know, make that connection with God. And uh, But anyhow, back on the, the subject at hand, uh, the Lives of the Saints, you know, you know, there's one saying, I've mentioned it on other videos, it's one of my favorites. Every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future. And when we're reading the lives of the saints, we can clearly see this. Uh, they come from all backgrounds, all walks of life. Uh, some are uh, very penitent. Um, some of them um, we see are very uh, pious from their youth. But uh, you know, and but we can relate. We'll, we'll find saints from all walks of life, and many of whom we can relate with. And as uh, St. Isaac is pointing out here, Therefore, beloved, have in your mind God's providence. 
this is a huge thing, I think, when we're reading Lives of the Saints is, uh, you know, because we're looking back, right? These saints have already lived. Uh, they've already died. Um, of course, there's living saints, but the ones we're reading of in the Synaxadian uh, have already passed as they're recognized as holy, right? Um, but we can see a lot of times in reading these stories of the past and the, the people who lived more holy lives, uh, how God's uh, divine providence often works. Um, you know, today uh, we're commemorating uh, several saints, uh, one of which is, is uh, I have a great affinity towards St. Cosmos the Atolian. Um, also today, as I was watching uh, on YouTube TV, um, the translation of the relics of St. Dionysius um, of Zacanthos, uh, as because I've been with the, uh, the current bishop, uh, Dionysius of Zacanthos, uh, several times in my life, so... Anyhow, some these are some of the things that uh, I was able to relate to this morning just in one day, right? And they we can garner inspiration from the lives of the saints. We can, uh, like I mentioned just a few moments ago, uh, find relation to the lives of the saints. And then I think it makes uh, living a holier life um, much more tangible for us, right? Uh, so, you know, in addition to one page of St. Isaac a day, uh, you know, read the lives of saints. And you don't have to purchase the volumes of, of the sets of the Synax Edian. As you can find, goarch.org and many other places you can find uh, the lives of the saints each day. But as uh, St. Isaac closes out his uh, homily three, let us also close out. It is he that being invisible to all created nature put on a body and fulfilled the economy for the salvation and life of all the nations which were cleansed by him, to whom be glory and dominion unto the ages of ages. Amen.